Pirate Scrapes UK. <coughs> we are here today to say hello, and we are excited. Our show is Vaping Dawn to Dusk. Our show is about you, regular vapers, and trying to answer questions and talk to you and tell you stories and demystify quitting, smoking, and vaping. So, Luke, how are you? I am, well, as good as I can be, I guess. You've got yeah, some talking to do this week, I know. Yeah. I mean, I've got things to say, but I know you've got something to bitch about today. Yeah, a bit of a shit couple of days, and then yesterday it got even worse by a company being just a bunch of assholes, really. So so <laughs> let's just fill the guys in. We all have DNA 200s here, and you guys have seen our other shows. Oh, by the way, I feel completely lame because I don't have the chat up. And so I'm going to get it up, and we're going to say hello to everybody. Um, so we all have DNA 200s. Luke's DNA 200, which is, remind me of the brand, please, Vape Sig? Yep, it's made by Vape Sig. Yeah, t- tell the story. Well, I was just sitting here. I don't even know. I think I was watching a, a film or a review or something, but <clears throat> only on 80 watts um, with the 13 heavens on top sitting away. Had a, had a toot on it, and then the screen just went completely black. <clears throat> I was like, oh no, maybe I thought maybe my battery had died, but it hadn't. It's still got 40% charge on the battery, um, so now it will not do nothing. Nothing! If I plug it into the PC, the board lights up, because obviously the USB gives power to the board, but the minute I unplug it again, the battery's not giving no power to the device. So I did what anyone would do. I emailed the company, which Gearbest. I'm never, never dealing with Gearbest ever again. I'm not going to shop on there whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> so I emailed them and said, "Look, this is what's going on." They asked for a video, so I sent them the video of, of what it does. And they said, "We'll get back with back to you within three to five days, and we'll pass it on to our technical team." <clears throat> which is um, what we expected, actually, right? Like we expected yeah. them to be like, "Okay, let's pass this on." Yeah. And I so expected, far, so good. <laughs> I, I, I expected them to come back and say something like, okay, send it, we'll fix it, or send it and we'll give you a replacement. But no. Their, their two options was you can get a refund, but you're only going to get 50% of the price of the device, which is not good enough whatsoever. Or they can send me a new device, but then I've still got to pay half of the new device and half of the postage. So let me get this straight. Let me just break this down so that my my tiny little mind can understand this. So you paid full price or whatever for your DNA 200 and had it shipped to you, and it was fine. And then one day it broke, and they they accepted a customer service uh, video from you, and then sent it in, and then said that you had to pay half of the cost of a new item. Yep. If I wanted a new item shipped out or they'd only give me half a refund. And the other thing that annoys me is they'll only give it to you on the account, which I'm not going to... I don't want anything to do with Gearbest, so why would I want my refund put on their account? <laughs> yeah, that's that's their shady thing, is that they you know they don't really... Yeah, exactly. They want to give you credit on their thing. They're, they're a Chinese retailer, and they... Or wholesaler, or whatever, and they are not used to American customer service policies. And so are you pursuing VapeSig directly as well? I, 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 I have tried to, but I've had... I've had no response, and the few people that I have spoke to said they don't ever, people have had the same issues, and they never get a response from VapeSig. Which so mm-hmm. so the lesson here is that, just like we've been telling you for three weeks here, that if you buy a DNA 200, almost no matter who you buy it from, you're beta testing. And yeah. so there are a few places you can buy them where they have gone, they are people who are aware of this and have gone to the extra trouble, but Get a militia mod. Get a DNA 200 from Tug Life, because theirs are better. Uh, get a whiteout box. There's a few more, but I mean, just watch out. I personally love my hot sig, but I am in the minority here. A lot of people, actually, nobody's had any trouble with the devices whatsoever at all. People only complain about the academics of the battery. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, but that's yours. one of one of the advantages you've got, and people that have got, let's say, the Vapor Shark. Or anything. Oh, yeah, you, vapor shark. Anything you can take the battery out of, because if I could take the battery out of this, I could just pick up a new battery, put it in, and I'd probably be ready to go again. But the version, I think this is version four now they put out. It's actually soldered the battery to the DNA chip. So unless you're good at unsoldering and resoldering, you can't yeah. do it. <clears throat> yeah. 
It's true. And this is what's going to happen. The the first generation of all these DNAs, except the hot sig, don't have replaceable batteries. And what we're going to see is, next year, you mark my fucking words. Next year, we're going to see every manufacturer or all new manufacturers coming out with replaceable LiPos. Am I right? Yep. It's going to be, yep, just like the, the uh, Destructor. Is that what it was called? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like that and like this, that's what's going to happen. We're you've not going to have some soldering yeah. and shit. You've got, you've got to be able to replace your battery because no, no battery lasts forever. Right. So otherwise your option is if your battery dies, you've got to go and pay another $200 for a new device, which is, is wrong completely. <clears throat> you should be yeah. able to just cut a battery, put it in, and go again like you can with 18650s. Yeah, well, and in fact, one of the things, g Shire points this out, and of course one of the things Andrew pointed out is that you know the DDA200 chip works very well with uh, 18650s. It works with two of them at 130 watts, and it works with three of them at 200. I personally am finished with 18650s. They're garbage. But that is true. You can do that. You could get the WizMac, or you could get the D, um, you could get the Militia Mod. Um, I'm not doing it. I'm staying with LiPos forever. And uh, obviously, I have tons of, DN of 18650s and you know yeah. dual battery mods and stuff. And it only takes one puff on this to make me never want to touch another dual battery mod. Yeah. And obviously, you've got that option. If your battery just decides it's going to die one day, you can just get rid of it, get a new one, plug it in, <laughs> and it's no and you're done. Yeah. In fact, this one will get here today after the show. Yeah. See, and you'll have a spare one. So if you ever have that issue, it's just a matter of plug the new one on, and you're ready to go again. Where well, I can't do that now, I'm stuck and having to fight to get my money back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I mean, if I had to buy a new one today, it would be the hot. It would be that um, that eight cigar one. Or I mean, if I could, if I had unlimited money, I had to buy a new one right today. It would obviously be the Tug Life, the one that Paul Sillis got. I mean, there's no question. That's the yeah. only one on the market that I actually want. The whiteout box is nice on paper, but it's just a status symbol. I don't think it's really that big yeah. a deal. And although a lot of people are gonna hate that I said that, but I think that's absolutely true. It's just something to show off. It's not any, it's not intrinsically any better than any other box. They do have the right idea, which is replaceable parts, but what they don't have is the right idea, which is an encapsulated battery. They're too hobby. So they're always going to be in a little niche where only some people can buy that stuff. <clears throat> yeah. If, um, I could have, if I could afford the Tug Life box, it's probably what I would get. But <clears throat> I think I'm going to look at the uh, SDNA by SMY. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. I forgot about my favorite sleeper company, the one that, that I remember Pegasus said that they are the absolute worst uh, company in the entire, like the world of vaping, which of course he's dead wrong about that. But the... The 60TC was great, and now that they've worked out some of the manufacturing problems, that dual battery one is fine, too, And even though it's a little bit weird in the power. But I'm extremely excited to see the measurements and everything from that SDNY. I hope that you get one of those quick. And the prices are spectacular. For, for It's a 1,500... Uh, well, they say it's a 1,600 mile, but I know some people have tested it, and it comes out as a 1,500 mile battery, <clears throat> and it's only $120. Right now, it'll be 180 later. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, that I think that's the, I think that's the retail price is 169, 170, something like that. 189, something like that. All of the DNA 200 to a couple hundred. So anyway, I'm really sorry you have that trouble. All the viewers now know that you can either it can go well or not. But if you buy from Chinese manufacturers, your warranting is going to be pretty bad. Um, Fast Tech were pretty good. <clears throat> the one issue, one issue I with them when. I had a mod turn up and it didn't have any screws in it. They just said, ship it back and we'll just ship you a new one out. And they did. And I had no issues. They even paid the shipping. Mm. <coughs> so there you go. Gearbest. Service. And I must say, the Gearbest, I've ordered a lot of stuff from them and I haven't had any problems. Fastech right. ordered some things from them and things that were broken or whatever, I, I never got any. No. Luckily, they were cheap. <laughs> yeah. No, not in your case though. So, yeah, they are not cheap. <laughs> so let's do let's do a couple of things. Do you want to? Um, we're going to announce giveaway winners for last week's giveaway for the two bottles of Adore E Liquid from the replay. That is going to happen after we talk to the guests today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to do a little bit of business. Is it too early? <laughs> um, we're going to do a giveaway at the end. We're going to do a new giveaway of two bottles of Adore E Liquid 
during this thing that we're going to do later on, and then also during the replay of this episode, we're going to give away two more bottles of Adori Liquid, and we want to thank Adori Liquid for providing the liquid for us to give away for you guys, because not only is it good, but also... There's Are you liquid. pointing? I am yeah. pointing. AdoriLiquid.com. Yeah. <clears throat> we're, we're thanking them. And also, let's shout out to the people in the in the chat box because I was Brian's here, he's always here, Jared's here, G Shire Vapor, Vaping Teddy, my buddy from Greece. Hi Teddy, I love you. We've got Mr. Vader123, and I'm in the chat channel. Christopher Wolf, hello. And uh, Kelly Walker and everybody else. Love all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you like these broadcasts, click like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends. We're also on replays. I guess we need to probably start telling people that the replays are up all week and that that's the whole purpose is that this show is for regular vapors yep. like you. Um, so let's bring on our first guest. Do you feel like it or do you have more complaining or anything to say? Do you want to talk about what we're vaping? Yeah, let's do a quick what we're vaping on. You so, first. <clears throat> obviously no DNA for me, but I have got the Cherry Bomber V2 with the production... RDA on top, and I am vaping my DIY peach yogurt in that one. Yum. And then because I have no DNA, I am back to using the Vapor Flask clone um, with the support RDA, and I've actually got Juicy's DIY in there. Little Lord Fauntleroy. I'm so glad. That's great. I'm vaping something similar, except that right now I've got a, I've got all this uh, static wire that I got from Florida from Cloud Beast 12, which is great. Thank you, Cloud Beast 12. And of course, Skeletor is going to talk about this in a second. He's down here hidden. You guys will all talk to him. Uh, but I outfitted both of these with with static wire. This has got a 0.15, just a 27 wrap dual coil 22 gauge in here, and this it's all Nichrome 70. And this is Nichrome 70. I've got a twisted. You know, this isn't working. I've got a twisted seven wrap in here. So I put, I got 26 and I twisted it and I made a dual coil out of that. This is insane. May I demonstrate? Works amazing. Not because of the decimus. Viewers don't think the decimus is good. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for the. The only reason I'm using this decimus is because this doesn't have a MOSFET. I'm not using this because I like it. So how did you how did you find building on that velocity deck? Absolutely great. It was something to get used to. It was my first time, and it was just different. You know, it was just different. It it was it was actually easier to stretch the fucking shit to the two things, but it was harder to get it in physically. But I figured, you know, once a little practice, I'll get it. I see now why Daniel was saying how beginners might find it a little bit weird on the velocity. But honestly, I think that that's only because they're watching videos showing you how to do two and four post, three and four post decks. Yeah. You know? But I like it. Thanks for asking. And honestly, the way it looks on this Decimus is sick. I mean, just <laughs> yeah. look at it. It just is one of the most beautiful things I've ever held. I'm going to vape it. And a vaping dripple juice these two kinds, there is the Big Nana and the Sarah, and I'm also vaping my own DIY again, which is my new flavor, which is Marie Antoinette, but I'm just shaking it mainly. <laughs> um, so that's not that exciting for you guys at home, but I hope that you love that we have some gear, and I hope that you guys have good stuff too, and let's bring some people on. Our first guest is uh, Skeletor from WTF Vapors, and we love this guy. He's just a friend of the show and a friend of ours, and we met him at My Vaporium which you can click on, not click, but you can actually join us here. And he is a YouTube reviewer that lives in Florida, and he and his friend CloudBeast12 both do reviews together on their channel. They are very active in the local scene. They have lots and lots of friends down there, and I love Skeletor because he's the most social guy, and he loves just going out and talking to vapors and videotaping it and talking to them. So anyway, let's, let's bring him on, and he can unmute himself. Vaping. <clears throat> What the fuck is going on, y'all? Hello, Skeletor. You're kind of dark there, buddy. That's okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm trying to use... Well, I got the lamp above me, and I got the natural light coming in the window, but <laughs> yeah, I'll turn this a little bit. Ooh, okay. Natural light. I mean, dude, don't, don't listen to me. I have, like, five work lights pointed right at my face. So Don't I be fooled. I try to hide from that. <laughs> yeah, don't be fooled. This is not natural. So, hello, Skeletor. What are you vaping on, and how is it like there where you are? Let's see, it is, I'll give you a weather report real quick. Good <laughs> idea. And it is a nice, sunshiny 83 degrees Fahrenheit. 
What am I vaping on? I have a uh, Petrina Dot Mod that I'm vaping Slasher Vapes Gorgurt, which is, uh, you know, the strawberry banana yogurt, the Gogurts that were in the tubes, you know? Yeah. It, it it's, tastes just like that. It's pretty spot on, actually. I got a uh, 24 parallel static wire build in there. It's pretty badass. I got uh, the Tug Clone, just like you do, Juicy. Hey! And I got a Velocity on top. Hey! <clears throat> yeah, I, I love, love your green velocity. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Actually, yeah, uh, Cloud, uh, yeah, Cloud Beast gave this to me. Nice. But I've, I've got a, uh, even though you're probably not gonna be able to see it very well at all. It's a twisted, flattened 24 gauge static wire build, and she gets pissed. Oh snap! Off. I snapped. Oh, I flattened my twisted gauge. That's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty rowdy. That's then, uh, you went twenty. You went. Uh, 24 gauge on that, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. I'm a big fan of the uh, the 24 gauge and the 22 gauge. Actually, uh, static I didn't get wire. 24. I just got 26 and 22, but that's awesome. I love them. So, um, WTF? Yes. Skeletor, you are in Florida. So, tell us about your quitting smoking story and how you got started vaping and how you get involved in all this vaping junk. And talking to people and going to stores and making video reviews and stuff. Like, what, how long did you smoke and stuff? Uh, I smoked for too damn long. I picked up my first cigarette when I was six years old, and I'm. Uh... It's a little long. Oh. Oh, oh I think he cut out. He's He'll be back. <laughs> this is for, for the viewers out there. In case you don't know, Google Hangouts is garbage, and we all use it. And uh, occasionally people. New go out. There he is. Hey, I'm back. Where, where did you lose me at? <laughs> uh, you were just saying, and Take then you up. started. <laughs> I'll just restart. Okay, uh, I picked up my first cigarette when I was single-digit age, and I'm going to be 35 next month. So, uh, you know, a, a good, shit, 80% of my life I was a cigarette smoker. And I decided to go ahead and give up the ghost on May 7th of this year. That was the day that I started vaping. Um, I was just... It, it was one of those things. I had just been discharged from the hospital less than 24 hours prior, um, and I was at the point where I was done with it. When I was in the hospital, my wife actually went to um, the corner pharmacy and got me one of those little uh, cigarette-type things that you can refill the back of it and it recharges and all that. Uh, yeah. I had that for approximately a day and a half. We went to the vape store, and I picked up uh, an Ego Twist, uh, that actually had a manufacturer defect, so I went back the next day and I got an MVP 20 watt. I bought MVP my first 20 watt. dripper. Yeah, yeah, I bought my first dripper on uh, May 9th, and that was a tugboat, a clone actually. Great RDA though, great RDA, because I I, I wanted to uh, save money by doing DIY, so I bought the dripper. You know, I've learned how to build at a 1.0. Um, ohm and above because it won't fire sub ohm and you know I, I went about it that way but right before I got to the point where I was ready to pull the trigger on purchasing all the DIY stuff a uh, an acquaintance of my wife that she went to college with is a local juice maker here in town and so he's like hey I don't have any reviews up on YouTube I'll sh I'll throw you the whole line of juice if you'll just review them for me just film and throw them up on YouTube, just to where it can get some hits. And uh, that was the day WTF Vapors was born, actually. You and, you know, uh, since then, I've obviously graduated from the MVP 20 watt and the Tugboat Clone RDA. But it, it happened on accident. It's like, okay, so I, I made the YouTube page, and I made a Facebook page to where I can actually post the links, and then just share it from there to everybody that I know, you know, hey, look at me, I'm on camera. Yeah. I quit smoking, I'm vaping, you know. Yay! By but the way, you quit smoking so recently, I'm very proud of you, and I know that still must be a little bit tough, so. Sometimes it does. There's there's certain instances where, you know, I, I just, I crave the combustion taste of a cigarette, and I, I don't know exactly if that's normal or not, but it's, normal. It, it, it's there, it's there. One day, that will, one day that will gradually, you know, you're, you're transferring all that smoking and the vaping, and so yeah, that that weird feeling you feel eventually will go away. But yeah, that's natural, dude. I mean, I'm sure in a minute we'll ask Michaela too; she'll probably have a similar story. But you notice every other person, all of us, me too, 
even now, I still sometimes think about cigarettes. It'll just pop in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, exactly. I've been smoking years. Yeah, exactly. But after that, I mean, so I quit smoking May 7th. May 23rd, we posted our first video. Uh, and all of a sudden, a month later, we're at 150 Facebook members for the page, and I did a giveaway for that. And all of a sudden, you know, the, uh, this past month, we hit 200 and some odd subscribers for the YouTube channel. And it, it's absolutely blown up. But we, uh, I like going out talking to people. I never met a stranger. I've always been extremely personable. I was raised by a swimming pool salesman in Florida for crying out loud. Ha ha ha. That is just funny. That's great. That's a cool piece and, of story. Uh, and, and so, another instance where you know, my wife was extremely involved. One of her high school friends is a manager at a local vape shop. So we went in there and we filmed an on-location juice review for uh, Vapor King Fog Juice, I, was, I think it was. And, you know, we had people that were walking in that had watched our previous reviews and they were all hip to it. And, you know, they, they sat there and watched us and hung out with us and chatted with us. And it was at that point that I realized that I wanted to be more of a public face, you know, to to talk to people, to be able to advocate to people, you know, as a literal lifelong smoker, for me to yeah. be able to just put it down like that because of vaping, you know, that's a testament unto itself. And it's really and, lucky for you, too, that you had, like, locals who were so involved in vaping that they made that transition easier for you. That's so awesome. What's the name of that vape shop? Let's yeah. plug them. It's uh, Civil Vapes, the Sand Lake location here in Orlando, yeah, yeah. Florida. Helped him stop smoke, stop smoking. Most important thing ever. Oh yeah, the uh, the local vape scene here. When it comes to the shops, you know, there there's there's very few shops that. Uh, oh, how can I put this? You know, you have your usual douchebaggery that goes on, and we don't have many of those. I mean, there's one or two. You know, there's always one or two. But for the most part, I would say a good 98% of the shops around here are very inviting, very warm, you know, warm to people, and they don't look down upon people who vape and smoke at the same time because it's such a hard thing to quit. You know, a, a nicotine addiction they say is harder to quit than opiates. There's only one thing more addictive to the human body. This is science, guys. This is not me just making this up. There's only one thing more addictive to the human body than nicotine, and that is methamphetamine. So. If you, nicotine is right. a skeletal muscle relaxant, and it is a central nervous system stimulant. So it is actually the perfect drug for a monkey like us, because that feeling you get is the perfect feeling for us. That's why we get addicted to it, because it's like it feels good. But the way we've been consuming it by burning the leaves all these years has been killing us. Right. Now we have the way to not die. And so, yeah, that's just the pure science of it. And, and Big Tobacco loves to try to kill that, which not a lot of people know that Big Tobacco is the one that's funding a lot of this political bullshit, but yeah, I digress. Uh, well, but I've yeah, noticed so, that Florida is really, really active in vaping. Yeah. I mean, really, like disproportionately active in vaping. Vapor Sharks in Florida, millions of juice companies, mm -hmm. you, wire companies, thousands mm -hmm. of users. Even on my Instagram, there's a jillion people from Florida, and uh, I love that about you guys. You guys are all pro-vaping, and you're collegial. Yeah, <clears throat> one thing I'd like to mention because obviously we are we try and talk to a lot of new vapors. Do not do not see bad press about vaping and just believe a hundred percent what they say. Because I actually mm -hmm. I had this issue yesterday. I actually went to work and uh, one of the drivers that works for the company that I look after, he actually stopped vaping and carried on smoking because he heard about that. Uh, story that come out about the guy's lung getting a hole burnt for it through from hot liquid. Oh, not that stupid <clears> thing. <throat> yeah, of course I know that. <clears throat> and because I hadn't I hadn't seen him and cuz he wanted to ask me about it, I was like and I, I told him that obviously it's just all a bunch of crap, but he actually put he didn't he stopped vaping completely and just carried on smoking because of that one story that he heard. <laughs> Makes me sad. Well, that's a great message. You're absolutely right. Remember that the vaping, the stuff that you see in the mainstream news about vaping, criticizing it, is lies. 
the science of it is we can turn you on to articles and stuff, and you can look at more more channels like Skeletors and Michaela's who you meet in mine, and you'll see that the science of it, we're trying to get the science out in the world, and we have a petition to sign and everything we'll give you a link to, but he's right. Don't listen to people when they tell you that vaping is unsafe or whatever. There is plenty of science left to do about the effects of this, but the contents of this stuff is well understood and what's going on here. This is yeah. not mysterious. <clears throat> we know exactly what's going on here. We, we all know that the voices aren't 100% safe. Right. It's, it's all down to us knowing how to use it and to make sure we use it safe. <clears throat> and the best example is, or a very good example, I'll give you two good examples. Blenders, it is, there are a million ways to use a blender dangerously, and yet there is nobody in Congress telling everyone to uh, make new laws restricting them. There are a million ways to use your toaster unsafely and kill yourself with it, especially with a kid. But I don't see any lawmakers talking about the dangers of a toaster so, or, or the carcinogenic properties of toast and how dangerous it is and how we have to stop it. And that's exactly what's happening with our vaping. The only reason we all vape is that we quit smoking. Okay, I'm through lecturing. What a boring thing. I can just see our, our viewership going, go, oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, um, Sheeny, Sheeny told me to take my hat off because I've got cool hair. So yeah, I, cool took my, hair. I took my hat off. <laughs> um, I want to tell everybody that my girlfriend Aileen is a knitter, and so I'm wearing my new hat. <laughs> my boyfriend. So... We love you, Skeletor. Let's bring in Michaela, too, because we're almost about halfway through the hour. And yep. uh, I want to get to talking to her, too, because she'll have some similar things to say. Let's set her up. You want to set her up, Polish Vapes? Yep, this is Michaela. A lot of people in the chat that go on my Vaporium would have spoke to Michaela. I've spoke to her a few times now on, on the G-Spot. Um, there are a few new rules as well on G-Spot, which I might plug at the end just to give people a heads up. Um but other than that, let's uh, bring in Michaela. Hi. There you are. How's everyone doing? Awesome. It's great to see you. Excellent. Very good. So uh, oh, Michaela's got like a big wide angle screen. And <laughs> looked like you were like in a comfortable looking place. <laughs> I'm coming over. <laughs> Michaela, how are you doing? What are you vaping on first? Okay, I am vaping on my Segali 150 with my crown tank with uh, Fluent Vapors, Coco's Dream. <laughs> and I'm also vaping on my Kangertech Nano with my man. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. The Kangertech Nano in pink is badass. I it love is. it. Yep, love that. I'm a big fan of that. So, Michaela, do us a favor and... Tell everybody your smoking, your quitting smoking story, your vaping story, because you have an interesting one too. You don't mind. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly when I started. I know that our mom caught us smoking, so she made us smoke a pack. But I do know that when I was 11, I was a full-time smoker, and I smoked two packs a day for 41 years. And I didn't just smoke half a cigarette. I smoked it clear to the filter and burned the filter. You're the filter smoker. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I had a service dog named Gizmo that passed last September, and he hated cigarette smoke. He hate, he loved when I, I vaped occasionally, nothing major, but he hated cigarettes. So he passed, and uh, I decided I was going to start vaping. So uh, May 10th at 8.58 p.m. was when I decided to go and vape full-time. And so oh my I've God, had that was just three days after Skeletor. Yep. I've had some failures, but uh, I was adopted by Hank Vapes. He's my sponsor, and he always tells me that it doesn't matter how many cigarettes you smoke. What matters is how many cigarettes you don't smoke. So right. I'm back on track now. So Yeah. <clears throat> One thing you definitely need to remember is if there's any smokers watching the show that want to get into vaping, don't, don't worry about if you're smoking and vaping or... As long as you're slowly cutting down, that 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 is all that matters, and hopefully, at the end end result will be that you'll be off smoking <coughs> and full time vaping. It, it works the same as anything works, like the nicotine patches. It's a matter of just keeping going at it and just keep going until you're full full off cigarettes. <coughs> That's right. It's different for everybody. Some people quit and are able to quit right away. Other people need to smoke and quit. Other because triggers are weird, but just. Smoke less. You're you're gonna not be a smoker. It's not that you're never gonna have another cigarette. You may. Yeah. 
So that was just in May. That was really recent. So you dove head in, didn't you? Like you just went all wild because that's only been four months, right? Yeah. Michaela? That's right. I decided so what, this was it. What did you get first? Like how did you how did you make that transition? So you're you're a wonderful animal. I always get all teary when people's puppies pass away because I love dogs. Um, so what did you start with? Like how did you approach that? Did you go to a local vape store? Did you ask people or what was that process like for you? Well, when I was vaping occasionally when I had gizmo, I was just using one of the cheap uh, batteries. Uh, and then when I decided in May, I used MVP2 with a Nautilus Mini. That's great. That's a good setup. I did the uh, job. Yeah, and have you found your – what nicotine level did you start at and where are you now? Because it's been five months. I'm just curious at what you know whether you're still where you were or whether you went down or – I started at 24 milligrams, and now I'm doing six. Okay. All right. So, And you were a two-pack-a-day smoker, so that, that makes good, good sense that you're still at six right now, even though you're vaping on the, the larger stuff, that your body is like, needs more nicotine. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Look, <laughs> Skeletor's got his timer out for his quitting smoking. <laughs> Five months, 30 days, 14. So we just subtract three days for you, and it's the same. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, especially the other thing about quitting... Uh, smoking, don't think that you're going to just go and pick up any device. Everybody is is different. They are used to a different device. I tried Ego Pens. It didn't work. Um, if you've got a good vape shop, go into the vape shop and they'll let you try different devices and different tanks and see, what, see what's best for you to stay away from the cigarettes. Yeah, there was no way an Ego Pen was going to be able to really work for me. No. Oh, no. Not at all. <laughs> And that's yeah, in what fact, of, years ago we were stuck with ego pens. Yeah, and that's what a lot of a lot of the shops that don't care um, about their customer service too much, they will just chuck you, try and chuck you an ego pen, and you'll be back in two weeks spending even more money because it's not doing what what you need. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're really desperate and you're at a kiosk and they try to sell you one of these, go to a different kiosk and buy the Kang or Subbox kit or the Nano one or something. I mean, just to get out of smoking, that'll start you, and then you'll discover all the stuff you can buy later. But yeah, these things are horrible. All this is is a battery, and it's a really weak battery. All this is is a good battery. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. or a little more battery. power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's great, Michaela. I'm glad. And so tell me, you started a YouTube channel too, right? Didn't you? Yep, I sure did. Where you're helping people... Get off the killer sticks. Yeah. And so I've watched as many of your videos as I have time for, which is about eight or ten, and they're good. And you do a lot of juice reviews, right? And then, oh, no, wait, you review everything you've got. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. I've done a lot of uh, juice reviews. That's awesome. And it's good, too. So I love that because there, there's this mentality or there's this idea people have that, may, you know, that, like, I can't get on YouTube and start telling my friends how to do stuff. And I'll tell you, all of you guys, I started getting on YouTube because I had friends asking me questions, and that was an easier way to answer it. And I don't mind being on video. That's a big yeah. deal. <laughs> you have to not mind being on video permanently. And uh, I love it when, you know, new vapors go and try to tell people, you know, what their experiences are because that perspective is important. It isn't always important to watch videos from people who are who've been vaping for five years. Sometimes it's important to watch videos who've been vaping as long as you have. Yeah. I think the other thing for, for me as well, um, I think juice is one of the most important things because you get all these YouTube reviewers that don't really review juice. People don't need a new mod every week. Obviously, some of us are in the hobby part of it, and we do buy mods all the time. I was going to say. People need to know about juice, because the juice is what's going to keep you vaping and um, stop you from smoking. So the juice is most important. Yep, and don't be afraid to buy some and throw it away and get something else until you figure out what you like. And there's an expense associated with that, and it's annoying. But that's one reason we DIY. Skeletor, you DIY, right? Uh, I haven't had the do you DIY? Kind of opportunity for. No, I do not. I do not. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to as of yet. And with all the juice that we've had come in here recently, we've had an absolute influx ever since. It's it's funny. Ever yeah. since we hit 200 subscribers, everybody's like, "Hey, will you review our juice? Hey, will you?" So yeah, we. Uh, I just haven't had the opportunity. I've got some of the supplies already, but to uh, you know get started, 
I just haven't had the opportunity. I tell you, one of the reasons I... Oh, go on, sorry. No, I was just going to make a joke and say I don't know how many times I was going to say I didn't have the opportunity, but I didn't have the opportunity. Uh, <laughs> it was pure cost for me. What about you, Michaela? Do you ever DIY or do you just get juice? I just get juice. You're one of uh, Adore E-Liquid's uh, supportive smokers, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Another plug for Adore E-Liquid. Adore E-Liquid provides the juice for Hank Vape's sponsorship for her, and so that's one of the things they do over there. And uh, I am just happy to hear that it's working. I mean, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not so, easy on this journey. Nope. nope. <clears throat> and look, it's Luke's lovely wife. Yeah, she's uh, uh <laughs> Mickey. <clears throat> That's awesome. Well, I'm really glad to hear those stories from you guys. I mean, the thing is, one of the reasons we try to do here on Vaping Dawn to Dusk is, first of all, just be relevant to regular people. And two, just be mellow because it's fucking so early in the morning. Early? Early? Uh, <laughs> it's half four. <laughs> I know. And you guys are all, like, Skeletor, you and Michaela, you're both in the east, right? Yeah, it's uh, almost 20 to 12 here. I've been up for a while anyways. Hey, uh, Michaela, where? So you're in Florida, Skeletor. Michaela, where are you? You don't have to tell us your ICBM coordinates, but like generally, where are you at? <laughs> where am I? I don't know. Where am I? I mean, oh, I mean physically Nebraska. located. Nebraska. Nebraska. Northeast of Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So Nebraska, Omaha. Actually, Omaha is one of my favorite songs from Counting Crows. That dates me. But <laughs> <laughs> just to the early '90s, that's all. That's right, it does. I I lived my twenties in the '90s, and so I am a grunge kid. Um, it's true. I lived my uh, teens in the '90s. Yeah, so I'm I'm in Seattle. Michaela's in Nebraska. Luke is in the UK, and Skeletor is in uh, Florida. And of course, every week we bring someone from all over the place. Um, I guess the question now is what do you think will happen here, and this is for Michaela, like where do, you, where do you think you're headed with vaping? Like do you feel like you're getting stable or do you feel like, you know, you are, do you feel like you're going to lower your neck or what do you see in the future for you? I'm wanting to lower my neck. I'm definitely not going back to the killer sticks. Um, <laughs> oh, your dogs are fighting. <laughs> That's Good so dogs. cute. <laughs> they wanted to join in. She's a poor gal. She's like, oh. <laughs> for, for the viewers, I'll just tell you, I have dogs too, so let's just sympathize. <laughs> oh, unmute yourself, Michaela. I just didn't want them barking Good. in the background. Hello, sweeties. <laughs> um, anyway, you were telling us you were trying to what, lower your neck? Yeah, I want to lower my neck. <laughs> I love dogs. <clears throat> yes, here at 6 and 3, yeah, you know, I actually have gone from, uh, I've gone from... Nine, no, twelve when I started to three now, and I'm frankly I'm going to one and zero, because like this morning I got up and just took a huge vape on this three that's in here, and uh, I had the hiccups immediately. I was like, wow, like nicotine overdose in the morning, like whoa. So clearly my body is wanting less and less, which is fine. Whatever, it's just yeah. It's definitely one thing I want. I'm going to try when I make another DIY juice. I'm going to probably cut down to like a 1.5 nick and see how I get on with that. Yeah. The more, the more, the less. Um. Hey, Skeletor. Yo. One more thing, because we're just approaching the last 10 minutes of the show or so, of the mm -hmm. proper show. So I was going to ask you, dude, talk about this static wire and how and uh, what you guys' relationship with them is. Like this, this stuff is pretty darn good, and I'm especially curious that the viewers hear about the nickel stuff. Because every time I mention this, I hear, yeah, nickel sucks. And then you're like, okay, but... <laughs> yeah, the uh, static wire, and which is made by Hostile Cloud Vape Company, um, they are actually a sponsor of a portion of the WTF vapors. And so, you know, they like to uh, have us do reviews on new stuff. Like the, the chemical composition of static wire now is not what it was even a month ago. Uh -huh. uh, they just came out with the new Nichrome 70 blend instead of a Nichrome 80, which is a 70-30 um, a blend mix. And it's the, the resistance is a little higher, 
Like for instance, if you were to build a 0.15 build on Nichrome 80, it would turn out to be like 0 0.17, 0 0.18 on Nichrome 70. But you know, steam engine and stuff like that will eliminate any troubles that you have when it comes to building with Nichrome 70 because that's actually one of the only um, coil build uh, apps that I've found that have Nichrome 70 as a selection. It, it's relatively new, um, but the the nickel is where it's at right now with the static wire. I have not had the opportunity to build with it yet because my hands haven't let me. However, it's right. an NI-205 blend, which the purity is a little higher, and it, give, it gives you the opportunity to be able to put more temperature into it. However, with how the wire is tempered to begin with, it gives you a warmer vape. You know, uh, NI-200 as a whole is a cooler vape. You see most people our uh, temperature control devices at 600 degrees because they're like, well, I'm used to a 0.15 build being nice and warm, and now it's not. So I'm yeah, going to turn up the funny. temperature. I'm going to turn up the joules. I'm going to turn up the watts. Yeah, and also it's and, uh, water tastes like it tastes like you're drinking out of an aluminum cup. Right, right. And with the more pure blend of nickel, the NI-205, uh, with how it's tempered as well, it it's pretty malleable when it comes to working with it. From what I understand, it's not as springy as NI-200, but it also holds its form a lot better as well. So when you re-wick, instead of having to be really delicate and take scissors and clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here, just to pull the wick out in order not to uh, fuck up the coil, you don't have to worry about that as much. So the net result is that, uh, as opposed to most nickel wire, it's easier to work with and it actually tastes good. Because all of us know that, like yeah. like you, Michaela, I use my crown, and at this moment I have the uh, 0.15 nickel coils in here, and it's not warm enough for me. And, of course, Evolve has not figured out stainless steel yet, so that's why it's not that great. But, yeah, nickel, nickel is usually so cool that it doesn't really mm -hmm. taste that great to smokers, and so this stuff's apparently better. Michaela? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you are you building coils? I'm just curious. I got my support, but I have not started yet. But I'm going to very soon. So this is another thing for you vapor guys is that um, for you relatively newer people is that it is entirely possible for you to buy um, a support or whatever an atomizer. She's talking about this atomizer, which I absolutely worship. I love this thing. That's yep. the one I have. Pink one. Great. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Um, and Luke's got one. A lot of people have these. And uh, these are great because they don't leak a lot, and the flavor is 75%, you 80% know, as good as one that's better flavor. Yeah. And they, uh, they're they just really easy to use. And I'm excited for you. So you guys, you can build coils. Like, really, it's not that much more complicated than watching a couple of YouTube videos and then winding and then learning a little bit about batteries. But if you're like Michaela and you use regulated mods, there's not a huge safety thing. This, no. It's not very unsafe. These are very safe because they're regulated with chips that prevent you from blowing your face off. Yeah, um, I'm excited for you, Michaela. What are you going to build on there? Do you know? Have you just started thinking about it? I'm just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I've been scared. Now that I have one, I have to do it. I have to put on my big girl panties and get in there. It's good though. It's great. Do you have a Do you have a Coil Master kit or something? Yeah. Yeah, oh, good. I recommend the Coil Master Kit a lot. I use mine for everything, and it's great. It's very consistent and useful. So, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to um, that static wire, the nickel, nickel that I just brought out. Was gonna, gonna talk. What is? Have they actually told anybody what the material they're using? It? <laughs> you got some, hold on, I got some noise here. There we go. All right. Uh, See you again, Luke. Yeah, one more time. The, <laughs> the, the, stack, the static wire, the nickel. Have they actually told mm -hmm. anybody what what the material they're using on the on the nickel is? Because especially uh, for me, I like to know what I'm vaping. They they do have the uh, the chemical composition cards that are uh, going to be as soon as what is. Well, actually, I think it was this week they're going to start adding the chemical composition and the build charts and stuff like that on cards inside the packs. Um, I have yet to get my hands on one just for the pure and simple fact that I haven't been to the shop uh, in the past week or so. Uh, I get that. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and shoot you over a, uh, a picture of the chemical composition card so you have it. But as oh, of right now, I, I don't know personally because I haven't read it. 
but that's good that they're do, that they're addressing that issue because that's the first question people have is, oh right. well, first they say nickel sucks, then you say, well, this is different, and then they say how different, and so, yeah, there you go, <laughs> there you go, I hostile clouds. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't use, I don't use nickel whatsoever anymore just because of the fact that obviously there are, we don't know if it's one hundred percent safe to use, and now that you can use stainless, and in, in my opinion, stainless is safer to use. Right. I would use stainless, so unless I had information about that 205 nickel, I wouldn't use it, just because I'd not, I want to know what I'm vaping on. Oh, most Very definitely. Good. Yeah, totally. So, do you guys have any questions for the guests in the channel? Do you guys in the chat have any questions for the guests in the thing, or me, or Luke, or anybody else? We can take 30 seconds to wait for them to respond. <laughs> well, we can take a vape and a sip of coffee for that. How's uh, that? Yeah, we're winding down, and you know, five or ten minutes, we'll do the giveaway stuff. <coughs> we'll head out of here. But um, just a bunch of thank yous. Thank you. So Shady, Shady was one of our guests here recently, and he was he's in the chat channel here. I like everyone to go to his YouTube channel. In fact, you should go to Shady VG's YouTube channel and subscribe and watch his videos. Yep. I think I did that last week, actually. Yeah. yeah. Shady so. in the UK. I need I need to start doing some giveaways some more because, like, my Instagram has gone from 30 to to 18, 1,600 or something, like, in a month. So yeah, you surpassed me. I, I think I'm, to, like, right at 1,000. I've been working <laughs> really hard. Me. Well, I've been working really hard to get real interesting people on my Instagram and not just a bunch of crap. Yeah, I'm at 1,400. So, yeah, I need to give some away. And I love Instagram people. God, I met so many cool people, like my buddy Tilted Wagon in Florida, who is awesome. And uh, one, maybe he'll be watching the replay. That'll be cool. And um, Randy Santos and Awkward underscore X underscore Pause, and of course Paul Zilla and them. But there's a lot of regular people on Instagram that are awesome who just post stuff that's cool. And just uh, just talking about uh, Sheeny. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll be uh, jealous about this, Juicy. Next <laughs> year for uh, Vape Jam. UK, uh, we're hoping it's going to be me, Aid, hopefully one of Aid's friends, and Sheeny. We're going to hopefully try and meet up for the uh, event and actually hang out for the day. So it's awesome. What is Vape Jam? It is uh, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. <clears throat> April Fools. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's really only happened in 2nd and 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was supposed to obviously be in June, but because of obviously the stuff that might be coming out in May, they, they had to bring it forward. So it's going to be at the start of April, and we're hoping to all get there and meet up. So that would be cool. That would be fantastic. By the way, Sheeny wants to know who has the biggest beard, and I think this week it's me. But typically, yeah. typically we would be off. You know, we're, we're off our trimming schedule. <laughs> <laughs> at first we were even, and I've let mine go, and he trimmed. Yeah. It's no shave November anyways here in uh, the States. Uh, Oh yeah, oh, I <coughs> forgot. Yeah, we have that testicular <laughs> cancer. That's right. Yeah, that's good. And of course, I've always had a beard, but I'm happy not to shave it. Uh, is there any upcoming good vape events in Florida? Uh, Florida Skeletal. There's a there's an event in December that's being held by Cutwood. I believe it's mainly just a juice event, and in April of next year, we're going to have the we just had our uh, Orlando Vape Convention a couple of weeks ago, and the same company that did that is doing one in Daytona Beach, where Bike Week is always held, and uh, they're going to be doing that April, mid-April, somewhere around there. That's awesome. What about over there in Nebraska, uh, Michaela? Does anything social happen there, or are you in touch with any of that stuff, or have you ever thought about it? I'm just curious. I'm interested, but I can't find anything going on here. Right on. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, you might find something. I, in Seattle, too, stuff goes on, and uh, I miss it or I haven't seen it. But, I'm, you know, I hear most of the stuff that goes on in Seattle is advocacy. <laughs> but there's a couple of cloud comps and stuff, and I'm going to start going to those. Yeah. <clears throat> you need to fly to the UK, Juicy. I, I am absolutely <laughs> interested in that. And it being in April is almost maybe enough time to save airfare, but I would absolutely fucking come out there and hang out for a weekend and do a vape show with you guys because I'd be on your couch or whatever, um, which you might regret, but that'd be fun. <laughs> I don't think they make couches long enough for us, Juicy. Yeah, <laughs> he said it. 
That's exactly right. He said it. <laughs> hey, I, That's exactly right. Being being right at six and a half feet tall has its yep. disadvantages too. Yeah, you don't fit in anything exactly. Nope. Although I gotta say, matter, my. <laughs> I'll go on. Cloud Beast. Cloud Beast has a, a mini, a Cooper Mini. <laughs> they have good so headroom though, don't they? They they do surprisingly. It's just getting yeah. in and out of the damn. Yeah, thing. exactly. You sit on the ground and then push yourself up off the ground. That's right. Once you're in it, they, I've been in one before. And it's like, oh, it's okay. But getting in and out of it feels like you're in your go kart racer from four years yeah. old. You're like, oh, is this exactly. a shuttle <laughs> mission? <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> That's right. That's something that only tall people can understand. My bunk in Alaska, when I went fishing uh, on the fishing boats in Alaska, my bunk was exactly the distance from my heel to my skull. Uh huh. I mean, that my was rack the was measurement. Under service too. That's yeah, exactly I fit in how it. my rack was. Right, and your heel was on the bottom, and your yeah. head is on the top, and you're like, oh my god, I hope I don't move while I'm sleeping. It's like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not curling up, believe me, not knees. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> if you do that, one leg's hanging off the side. Yeah, and my hips are too wide. It's like yeah. I can't. There's no, you know. Anyway, so um, problems. So I know. So let's do our giveaways, and we're gonna announce. Luke is gonna handle this part of it here. We're gonna we're gonna give away last week's Adore e liquids, and then we're going to give away two more now, and then during the replays for the week. We're going to give away two more as well, but we're, there's some rules to it, and Polish Vapes UK is the king of that. <coughs> free shit, free shit. Oh, yes. So uh, for the replay, I chucked the comments into the randomizer. This is last um, week's giveaway. We're announcing this person yeah. won two bottles of Midori liquid. Yeah. Uh, and the winner was C. Connolly. So if you want to hit uh, Juicy Up, on email, Juicy will give you his email details. I'm sure there's a link in Juicy Jones at well. gmail.com. Um, and obviously, uh, I think from going on now, um, we spoke about this, me and Juicy. Um, if, if you've won, um, I'm not sure if we're gonna, how we're going to do it for the, well, I guess, yes, yeah, for, for both for the replay and for the live show. If you've won in the last 30 days, then please just piff it, and obviously we'll pick another winner. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and obviously for the replay, we'll keep an eye on who's won, and we'll do that ourselves. But if you're in live chat, if you've won in the last 30 days, um, you can't win, so please just piff it if you have already won. <clears throat> and for Americans, piff it means don't do anything. <laughs> just say thank you, wave, and smile. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so how are we doing this giveaway for the bottles of juice right now, Luke? Uh, the first person in the chat to type where Michaela is from. Where is Michaela from? Come on, guys. <laughs> this is my favorite part, the 40 seconds where we do the drum roll and we watch, because I, this is where I love the delay. Yeah. Sing it, Skeletor. Do, 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 do. Oh, G Shire. Awesome. That was quick. That was oh, and quick. Teddy Very was fast, too. Teddy was an instant after that. <clears throat> so, G Shire, if you email Juicy, he will deal with, with what you uh, flavors you want and details and ship it out to you. Get it sorted. <clears throat> JuicyJones at gmail.com. And... This and this coming replay giveaway. Here's the replay giveaway. Replay, replay. If you, I forgot. Luke, what's our replay giveaway? Uh, have you got it wrote down? I know what. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was to do with Skeletor. Oh, I remember. I remember. Here's the giveaway for the replay. If you're watching the replay and you go to type in the chat channel or in the chat comments down below. What WTF Vapor's first review was that he did together with Cloud Beast 12. So there's a review on his channel where it's the first one where he and Cloud Beast 12 teamed up and did one. So write that in the thing. You must be a subscriber to this channel and to Luke's, obviously. And um, do that. Make sure you like the videos too. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Are we finished? Have we done our thing? Anything else to say? Yeah, does anybody want to say anything before we cut out? Uh, I would. I would, actually. Um, I just I appreciate you guys letting me uh, come on the show with you and hang out for an hour or so and, you know, shoot the proverbial shit. 
And, uh, you know, I just want to uh, say what I always say when I sign off, y'all. Kick cigarettes, vape on, and stay cloudy. That's the message. Michaela, what about you? Got a I message for the viewers? Yeah, I just want to thank both of you for having me on, and uh, just just keep on vaping. Just keep on vaping. Don't go back to the killer sticks. Yeah, I agree. Luke, what about you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, uh, so episode five, we're um, getting there now. I've <clears throat> I think we're quite smooth on our on our show now. I know a lot of people in the chat have been really liking it. A couple of people have mentioned they might like to see a longer show, which I know some of the stuff that we've we've got coming up that we want to do on the live show may have to run longer anyway because of what we need to do. But um, at the moment, I think we're happy with an hour. But there may be in the future we may start doing longer shows. But yeah, the specialty shows maybe. It is a. Uh, it's just a matter of, especially for me, it, it's having the time. Because especially like today, I've got to go to work, so it's like I haven't got time to sit here for an hour and a half or two hours. But yeah, when, I, when I'm off, I'm I'm happy to sit around for four hours. It doesn't really bother me. If you guys want to hang out, we can hang out. <clears throat> so that's the most flattering thing ever that you guys want us to do a longer show. Um, that's fantastic. He's right. We love all of you, and we love doing the show, and we love all of our guests, and we want you not to smoke, and we want you guys not to feel ashamed of smoking if you are, and to ask questions about vaping, and to start vaping, and we want this all demystified. So thank you. Like, and subscribe, and share it with your friends, and tell everybody, and let's all have a big fat vape out. You want to? Yep. Let's do it. Bye, everybody. Cheers. Thank you.